As government plans to borrow more to finance its priorities, a 35% date stock is a concern for observers who insist borrowing is okay, but the cost. Infrastructure is transformational, but I want to speak about the elephant in the room, and these are the trade-offs, and the trade-off is people. Alloc budgetary allocations for social spending have been decreasing over time. That did not help outcomes, social outcomes. Social spending is lower than elsewhere in the region. And the time to educate people and allow them to grow strong is now. But already armed with a new debt management strategy 2020-2021, government is confident in lowering the cost and minimizing refinancing risks. We are doing everything our borrowing is within the, the legal framework. In this case, the Constitution, and uh, that is Article 159, and the Public Finance Management Act. We are following that process so that we don't bring in debt that is not uh, properly approved. But in addition to that, we have our public, uh, public debt management framework. It guides on how we are going to be borrowing. Then new tax measures, perhaps targeting a few against a pool of exemptions, and in the middle, businesses gasping for breath. You can get only so much by raising your tax rates. Above a certain limit, you kill your businesses, you kill the people, you don't have revenues anymore, and you don't have growth. The tax base needs to widen. What we say in the, in the IMF generally about tax policy, the only thing you need to know is lower the rate, broaden the base. Going forward, I think this is the task of the government to review the existing exemptions, take stock of them. Are we designing the fiscal stimulus in a way that is supporting the right entities that need to be supported, or we are likely to face the perennial problem of Uganda of elite capture? You know, elite capture very live here. Despite these challenges, government envisages a growth rate of 4.3% and from a projection of 3.1% this year, 2020-2021.